Since the equivalent series resistance cannot be measured by ordinary multimeter, so there is a specific tool for this one. This is the ESR meter. Here I am looking at the Banggood and let's go to the descriptions and the specifications. This is one of the features. Measuring range from 0 0.001 to 100. Support in circuit testing so it means no need to remove the capacitor on the board because it says here support in circuit testing and the other features using through 100 kilohertz sine wave to measure the ESR value which is equal to the testing method of capacitor manufacturer and here this is what the package include, the unit, this clip, and manual. So also here, it says it is powered by two AA 1.5 volts battery. So I have here a small package from Banggood. We will open this one. Let's have a review on this device, or I mean these tools, the ESR meter. So this is the box. Open this one. So this is the unit. It came with uh, a manual and also the probe alligator clip. So this is the device itself with a stand at the back in the table here after you make a reading you have to check on this table so that you can determine the result so this is the probe terminal these two the red and the black power button zero button in mode range button Oh, there is already a battery. Okay, now it is on. It is on. For a better review of this item, I think it's better if we need to try it on the actual, I mean on the actual testing. So first I have 63 volts, 47 microfarad on. So, by the way, I am using the auto range. If you can see here, I am using auto range and we can uh, shift to manual. But uh, I think auto range is more better. So, the second thing we have to do is to short these uh, two probes, the positive and the negative. Then after that, we have to press the zero. So as you can see, it's zeroing the device. So again, I will press again. This two probe is uh, connected. Again, see. 
Now, I will connect the negative probe to the negative pin of the resistor. And the other one on the positive. Let us see. It is showing 0 0.447. So, it's showing here. Good if capacitor is less than 200 microfarad. And let us check on the table. It is showing 47 microfarad, 63 volts, should not be more than 0 0.56. So we got 0 0.469. So it means, based on this ESR meter, this capacitor is a good capacitor. So... Let's proceed with the other capacitor. <clears throat> so this is an old capacitor I pull out from the board. And after changing this capacitor, the board is working fine. So I am sure that this capacitor is defective. As you can see, it's already bulging from the bottom. Signs of corrosion. So let's try to use this ESR meter. And let us see what we will get. Get a short. And make zero. Now, connect the negative on the negative pin in positive on positive. See? And we got a reading of weight. Wait. Now connected. And we got a reading of 33 ohms. And it's telling that this capacitor is good if less than 4.7 microfarad. So less than 4.7, but this capacitor is... Not focus. You see, this capacitor is 47. 47. So it means on this reading, it shows that this is a bad capacitor. Then we will confirm on the table. On the table, it says that 47. Microfarad, 25 volts should not be more than 1.2. But instead, we are getting 30 plus. So, before it's 33, now it's 34. So, it confirmed that this capacitor is a defective capacitor. So, that is how we check the capacitor using this ESR meter. And uh, hopefully, on our next repair, we can use this one so that I can show you the video if how well this uh, device will work in troubleshooting. And uh, we will see what is the performance of this one. So that's it for today. I hope you like the video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.